Hello, hello, hello. We're back with Robert Whiting's Japan, another article from September 17th, 2023. You can find these on robertwhiting.substack.com. And today we're going to have a bit of sad news and we're going to finish with a happy ending. And that I promise you. It's about a former baseball player and star, Charlie Manuel. And it starts with the title, Charlie Manuel, a star in Japan and an American original, fighting for his life in hospital. Tokyo, I read with great concern of the failing health of Charlie Manuel, the former major league player and manager and star in Japan with a Yakult Swallows and Kintetsu Buffaloes. Manuel made the news recently when he suffered a stroke while undergoing a medical procedure at a Florida hospital with doctors saying the next 24 hours were crucial to his survival. Manuel had suffered a whole host of medical problems during both his managerial career and subsequent retirement. He'd survived a heart attack, quadruple bypass surgery, diverticulitis, diabetes, and kidney cancer. He recently spent time in an intensive care unit due to complications from hernia surgery. He was a walking medical miracle. He was also one of baseball's great characters, always ready with a smile and a story for reporters. Manuel managed in MLB for 12 seasons, three with the Cleveland Indians and the rest with the Philadelphia Phillies, leading the team to a World Series championship in 2008. Manuel also played six seasons in the big leagues with the Minnesota Twins and Los Angeles Dodgers before he moved to Japan and experienced his greatest success, joining the Yakult Swallows in 1976. The following year, he hit 42 homers, third in the league to power the Swallows to their first pennant and Japan Series title. But Manuel, a freewheeling individual who liked to drink beer in copious amounts after games, and Swallows manager Tatsuro Hiroka, a hard and haughty disciplinarian who micromanaged his players' diets and subjected them to tortuous practice routines, did not get along. Hiroka complained that Manuel did not shine his baseball shoes before every game and that he took too much time getting into the batter's box and that Manuel's habit of walking around in the middle circle in his right field position and gazing up at the stands between pitches did not look good. He complained about Manuel's diet of hamburger, steak, and pizza. Once he gave Charlie a thermos of turtle soup and ordered him to drink it for his health. I'm 34 years old, Manuel grumbled, and I figure I'm old enough to decide what to eat and whether or not I should shine my shoes for a baseball game. Manuel and Hiroka nearly came to blows one evening when Hiroka removed him from a game for making an error in front of 50,000 fans and a nationwide TV audience. On his return to the bench, Hiroka made what seemed to be a disparaging remark in Japanese. Manuel grabbed his interpreter, Luigi Nakajima, by the lapels and growled, Tell me what he said or I'll punch your lights out. Coaches intervened and prevented the situation from getting any uglier. In 1979, he was traded to the Kintetsu Buffaloes, where he hit 25 home runs in the first eight weeks of the season before being hit in the face by a pitch from Latte Orion's pitcher, Soroku Yagisawa. The pitch broke Manuel's jaw in six places. Since Manuel was wearing a dental bridge as a result of an earlier beaning in the minor leagues, doctors were unable to wire his jaw together. Instead, they inserted three metal plates in his head. Six weeks later, against the advice of doctors, he returned to action with wearing a helmet equipped with a football face mask. Said his American teammate, Chris Arnold, it was the most courageous thing I've ever seen a ball player do. He really should not have come back so soon. He had no feeling in his mouth because he had no nerves. He would eat. Food would fall out. He'd drool and not even know it. Anyone else who got hurt like that would never start playing again that quickly. Everybody was amazed and simply in awe of what he did. Manuel stayed in the lineup and proceeded to lead the Buffaloes to their first pennant, finishing the season with 37 home runs and won the Pacific League's MVP award. A year later, he hit 48 home runs with 129 RBIs to lead the league in both categories and batted 325. He was denied the MVP that year 
which he indisputably deserved by the voting sports writers because he had committed the cardinal sin of leaving the team in midseason, albeit with permission, to return to the States and attend his son's high school graduation. Nicknamed Akoni, the Red Devil by the press, for his for the swatch of red hair on his head and his fearsome power, he was one of the most successful American players ever in Japan, along with Wally Yonamine, the Lee brothers, Warren Cromarty, and Randy Bass. Manuel, whom I grew to know well during his time in Japan, was an American original. He was a fun-loving free spirit who could drink all night and still play hard the next day. There was a time he went out drinking with the pro wrestler The Destroyer in Rapungi until 8 in the morning. The Destroyer went home, but Manuel went to have another beer and reported for a day game at Meiji Jingu Stadium. He hit two home runs and fell asleep on the bench between at-bats. He was one of a kind. The end. And I did promise you a happy ending. That is, Charlie Manuel seems to have re- recovered and is recovering um, from his stroke. Um, if you go to Twitter, and he has an account, um, Charlie Manuel does. It's uh, at Mark C M Baseball Four One. That's at Mark C M B A S E B A L L. Four, one, And um, I'm taking a look at it right now. And you're looking at um, a lot of photos from his um, rehabilitation. And he looks pretty good. And so um, that was the happy ending. Um, I was not reading a, a eulogy for Charlie Manuel. And I think he is, and I agree with Bob, he is a legend and an original. and. Um, that's why I was really happy to um, to read this initially piece of sad news. And um, if you have any other requests um, from the, the Bob Whiting, the Robert Whiting collection, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you like this, of course, please subscribe and um, add a like. Um, that is all. And I will come back to you shortly with a few other um Bob Whiting stories, probably um, more from the Cold War, but maybe we'll throw in a couple baseball stories as well. Have a good day.